Praise be Jesus Christ. We are on the verge of a tragic schism being led by many of the German bishops, also Belgian bishops and bishops in other Western European countries. Now, very interesting how things are unfolding. You have Cardinal Fernandez who's going to be going to Germany to plead with the German bishops to return to unity with the Catholic Church. When Cardinal Fernandez goes to Germany, he can tell the German bishops, he can say, hey, did you notice that half of the Catholic world is in an uproar right now and maybe most of the African bishops are in an uproar right now over the effort the Vatican has made to find a resolution that could work so that we can keep unity in the church. And Cardinal Fernandez, notice the Vatican, they're not sending an ultra-conservative, strict, legalistic bureaucrat to try to talk some sense into the German bishops. They're sending, you know, someone who we could say is, I wrote this down, I want to get this right. <clears throat> someone who shares a certain openness to different ways of seeing things. Let's put it that way. And so <clears throat> the German bishops are in a position where when history is written, it seems like we'll be able to say that if Germany and some of these other countries decide to go into schism, it's not because the Vatican hasn't made a great effort to try to find a resolution that could work. <laughs> Again, half of the Catholic world is in an uproar over fiducia supplicans. And so, pray. Now, some people kind of couldn't care less about what Germany does and, and some of these Western European countries. That's awful. Because the Lord Jesus, at the Last Supper, his prayer to the Father, which was a dying man's prayer, he prayed, and let me find the exact quote. This is John 17. He prayed that they may all be one, even as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Viva Cristore!